Welcome back. We found a uh, maglev back to Jungle Island from Survey Island. You can still see over there. And just like the one we came in on on Survey Island, it looks like it has uh, exits on both sides. We're gonna ch check this one out. First, though, this one's a little bit uh, harder to spot, I guess. I mean, I still spotted it on my uh, first playthrough, and uh, the extra call button is also a big hint that there's something there, if you've been paying attention. Um, what's this? It's another elevator. A bit less uh, elaborate than the one we just went through. Um, let's see where we can go. like this handle can go further up from the scratches on the wood, but let's check this out. That does nothing. Could just be a call button. This looks ominous. And we're back here. This is where the uh, big work hat head, we now know that it is a work head, in the jungle is. That would be a very imposing entrance for Gen to make coming out of the mouth of a work. And I think we can be pretty, uh, pretty uh, sure that no villager would ever willingly walk into here either. So, not really any reason to even close this behind you while you're out here. Of course, in the original, um, there was a secret button on, uh, was it? I forget which side it was on, that could open this from the other side. Which is not here now, so presumably Gen either leaves this open, or has somebody else um, open it for him. I'm guessing that's where we're going when the elevator goes further up. Or maybe he has a garage door opener, who knows. Removing the secret button um, does rem remove some non-linearity from the game, because yeah, you could go the other way around. In the original, go to Survey Island first, and then to uh, Boiler Island, although I do not remember if that door to his laboratory is locked if you do that. Um, I just love the jungle. Such a calm place. have any need to be here right now. Though, so let's check further up. Actually, it looks like somebody tried to force this even further up, even though there is no other level above here. And now we are indeed on the top level here, as I expected. Being reminded of the big tree in, uh, on Mist Island. Fortunately, this one is not, uh, steam-powered or whatever that one was. It's just a regular elevator. And 
it looks like this is going to take us to the remaining dome. Oh, hey, those are lights. I had not noticed that before. They are actually... We've seen these around the domes before, and I commented on them looking like they could be lights. And here they're actually on. I guess it's dark enough in the jungle to warrant that. Um, if there is a rotating dome here, there should be a viewer nearby. There it is. Looks like we can get there from here. Yeah, I do think that these trees aren't meant to be this brown. Like, look at the, the small one there. That one has all of its bark and is much more green. So I think they're not doing too well with uh, what Gen's done to them. It's another big tree that Gen tore down entirely. Wonder if he did that before or after the rift showed up. And for this we will need the symbol for this island, which, uh, well, we just looked at it on um, on Survey Island when we were looking at the lights under the water. But just to confirm... Oh, I labeled that one and then <laughs> didn't bother label any, any of the other ones. Pretty sure this is the uh, the one for Jungle Island's the only one we haven't used yet. And, you know, you can't see Jungle Island through this window. Even if it's not entirely straight ahead. So let's try that one. The cat eye symbol. And I just missed it. There we go. This is our fifth um, dome, is it not? Yeah, we did the one on Temple Island. We did the one on uh, Prison Island. Then we did the one on Boiler Island. And the one on Survey Island by the Big Lake. And... That makes this the fifth and last one. And you know what that means. It means that we should have all the power marbles needed to activates the uh, powering mechanism for the linking books. There's the uh, marble charging thingamajig. Looks like this ladder goes further down, though. And we know we need the uh, central platform to face us, so I guess we need to go there first. There we go. Let's call that over and extend the bridge. Why not? That's upside down. It writes itself, though. And now they are all extended. Meaning that we can, in fact, go back to any island through here. Giving us a bit of a shortcut. Not much of a shortcut, considering how awkward this thing is to operate. 
Is it me or does this look like the Cyan logo in the beginning? Alright, let's go and charge a marble. Um, all right, same symbol. There we go, it's loaded. And charged. And off it goes. Ooh, ominous music. That means we did something. Now, it's very tempting to uh, just head straight back to Temple Island through the domes, and I expect that's not uncommon, but um, there was actually a little bit more to explore on... Uh, Village Island, there was a staircase behind the rotating dome, so I kind of want to check that out. After that, I think it's worth uh, taking a look at uh, Temple Island to see what we've accomplished. Wait for the dome to stop, of course. And it closes and starts back up. I saw someone say that, you know, that if the the six main symbols that we see in the in the work room underneath Survey Island are the the main color symbols, these are kind of in-between symbols, actually indicate mixed colors. I've not seen an official source confirming that, but it uh, is an interesting idea. Let's see what's up here. Um, we've been down there before, and we're spotted then. This time we have not attracted anybody's attention, by the looks of it. There's a little structure here with what looks like a jawbone of a warg. Can I walk around here? No, I cannot. Two levers. Oh, we came out up here, opposite the village, by this weird contraption that also is adorned with warg skulls. Um, no gaps in the water that I can see, so... Sub's not here right now. Almost feels like you should be able to walk over there. But you can't. What's the other lever do? Closes the bottom of this weird cage. Against crest on full display, of course. Not entirely sure what the point of that is. There's also something over there.
Looks like you can get there with the submarine. There seems to be a landing thing there, much like over there. Don't see any other way of getting there. Can open it again. Um, let's leave it closed, actually. Nothing else here, as far as I can tell. All the villagers are still hiding. Okay, well, I do want to go back to uh, Temple Island and see what happened with the... Uh, um, with the linking book there, now that we have five power marbles. And you'd think it would make a lot of sense to take the... Uh, oh, these are all lights. I guess these are off, and then some of them are popped up. They're on. That's cool. Um, yeah, it would make sense to uh, use the domes to do that. I'm not going to, however. The, um, the dome on Temple Island is behind the rotating room, so if I go there, and to get back into the main dome, I'd have to rotate the rooms a, b a bunch of times. Which I don't particularly feel like doing. So, we're gonna go back the uh, old-fashioned way. Using the maglev. And there's actually uh, another reason I'm doing this, not just because the domes are a little bit more work. There is actually something you can see if you do it this way. Which I feel a lot of people who don't know the original game are going to miss. Because, yeah, using the domes is kind of the obvious way of doing this. Hey! Looks like in our absence, somebody from uh, Gen's crew put something up to confine the little rift we saw forming here. Didn't want to wait for it to get big enough for another spinning dome, I guess. They did use the same runic plates. However... And yeah, first time I got here on my first playthrough, this already looked like this, so I never actually saw the, uh, the actual rift. I don't know if that was a glitch, or if it's just when you uh, wait too long to get here. Don't think I was particularly slower that time than I was now. That's where we're going. Just love the views from here. And uh, we need to go through here. That's where our little pool of water is. We still haven't quite figured out uh, what to do with that, but that's not what we're doing right now. So let's just keep going. Taking this maglev in reverse, first one we uh, originally uh, took, now we're taking it back to Temple Island. Is that 
an explosion? What the hell was that? And the door shut. Oh, it's opening. It's Gen! That means he must be in the room with the chair by the... Oh, and he's gone. Watching us with the cameras here. Letting us know he is aware of what we're doing. I think. Creepy. Well, that's convenient. Means he's here somewhere. Maybe we can catch him. Uh, before I do, though, I think there's a... Something I missed here, originally. I showed you that you can turn this maglev around. And get out on the other side. What I did not show you, because I didn't know about it, is that the path around here actually continues and you can squeeze through here. Which leads us to um, what remains of the Maclev station that would have gone to Prison Island over there. We saw the remains of the station on the other side. Now we found them here as well. Looks like it's actually the same track continued. I wonder if originally the stop was not here and you you could actually just take the same maglev car continuously to... Uh, Well, no, I don't think so, because there's the MacLev car. <laughs> there was a separate one here, I suppose. Something else that fell over there with uh, Gen's crest on it. Not quite sure what that is. Or is those those are maybe the the top? That's probably the top pod of the MacLev car. car thing that sits on top of it. It's uh, exhaust pipe at the front of it. I think that has, does it have the crest on it? It does, yeah, that's definitely what that is. Alright, turn this back around. I assume there used to be an easier way to get there then. Rather than having to first call this maglev, turn it around, go through it, and then go over there. But yeah, Gen is aware that we're here, and I heard an explosion and I don't know what that was. I consider none of these things to be good signs. Now we know that if uh, Gen was in the chair, he would have had this bridge raised, which would have prevented us from returning here. I mean, not really. We could have just used the uh, rotating dome to get back here. But um, he actually lowered the bridge again. So he wants us to still be able to go here. It almost seems like he wants us to find him. I mentioned earlier I completely forgot to go and look at the telescope over here after we uh, enabled its steam power. 
And it looks like this uh, panel now has steam going to it, and there's a little leak in the pipe. Hopefully that's not uh, a problem. And this seems to be powered as well. And one, 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 one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thunderbirds are go. This just, yeah, that just goes the other way. Okay. A ten digit combination by the looks of it. No idea what that is. Can't move that. Presumably we need a combination first. This, by the way, gives you a uh, kind of a way to uh, confirm your numbers. And also maybe to learn 10 if you uh, hadn't gotten that symbol from the the war game like I did. Um, but you would not necessarily know if it's 0 or 10 here. You would still need a little bit more context clues to figure that out. You might think this makes it really easy to learn the numbers even without the game, but that presupposes that you know their numbers. If you don't, these would just be arbitrary symbols. Like if this had like a circle and a star and a square and a triangle, you know, like typical symbol lock symbols, you wouldn't assume that those represented uh, numbers either. Anyway, doesn't look like we can do anything here yet without the code. Cho is on lunch break, I guess. Oh, and actually, my viewers also pointed out that I missed this. Where it seems air is being drawn into the starfisher when you open this. That uh, is weird. Because we know the starfisher is not a vacuum. But it is also what uh, Atris described. Usually, nowadays, I will record... Uh, oh, it looks like we didn't leave this in the correct orientation, so we'll have to rotate it anyway. Did we not turn it, or... Did Gen turn it? I feel like we wouldn't have been able to leave here if we'd left it like that. So, yeah, I think that's actually not our doing. Okay, well, in that case, it actually would have been faster to go this way. Uh, we just have to rotate this twice more. But yeah, if you go that way, if you go through the rotating dome, then you do not get the um, opportunity to see again in the imager. Because that only happens if you return here after... Uh, Um, getting the f the five marbles, but before you actually use the linking book. So if you go go here through the, the rotating dome, use the linking book, and then later come here through the maglev again, then you will not get to see that. So 
Someone also said that I missed something here. There's another button on the chair or something. I'm actually not sure of that, so let's take a quick look. Again, would have been sitting here. Pulled that lever. Oh yeah, there is a button. I guess that is what enables the imager, and shouldn't we be able to see our own head here then now? Hmm. Stranger's actually invisible. Okay, yep. Yeah. Did not notice that button at all. Let's make sure we don't accidentally leave the bridge up, just in case. Okay, now we're ready to go look at the linking book. And, um, indeed, as I guessed, this now has five lights lit around it. Are these the actual spheres sitting on top there? I don't know. Book is still broken as ever. That's the... No. Our little uh, magnifying glass does not accomplish anything there. Just curious. So let's try the button. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, for a second there I thought that was dropping, but we're rising. We're on the top level now. And yeah, the lights on top of those two things went out when the marbles dropped down, so... That does seem to... Confirm that those were, in fact, the marbles. My original playthrough actually guessed that this was an elevator that this button would activate. Just because, you know... I know the original game. I know there was a staircase here. Or the bridge doubled as a staircase that could be, could be raised. And, um... That's obviously not here, plus, in order to use it that way, since you can only raise that bridge from this side, we would need the long bridge intact. Which we don't have. So let's take a look at this. Actually, can we walk this way? Yeah, we can. Five, 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 five. Again, is obsessed with the number five. I'm, I'm like halfway convinced the combination for the telescope thing is just the, the number five repeated a bunch of times. Even he wouldn't be that dumb, I don't think. Here's the evidence of our uh, the destruction we wrought. You could actually see the remains of the bridge sticking out when taking the minecart ride as well. You could see it in the corner of the screen as we came up. 
One thing that's really not too obvious from this either, but the minecart actually goes all the way around the island. Like it goes in there, there, and then it goes around, and you like you come out uh, in the back there somewhere. All right, let's see what we need to do here. Obviously, there's something else we need to do to get that book to work. It's not as simple as just pressing the button, either. Let's try this switch. Okay. The probably most infamous puzzle from the original, affectionately named the Waffle Iron Puzzle. And uh, it's a little easier because it's now a 5x5 five five grid and it is a, uh, instead of a 25x25 twenty five five grid, and the location of the marbles has just been given to us. Oh, that's not what I want. The notebook. Because, yeah, it's this. This is the same 555 grid. And these are the location of the marbles. We do, however, still need to figure out which marble goes where, because these are all golden. And these are not. However, we saw in the notebook, uh, we took pictures of it, we saw how the symbols that are on the rotating domes correspond to colors. This one's red, this one's blue, and so forth. Um, yeah, and then green, yellow, orange, kind of looks the same, honestly. And uh, the broken one, which then has to be the remaining color. And we also uh, surmised that the uh, location of each marble or whatever it is here corresponded to the locations of the rotating domes on the island. So we can map from color to, from rotating dome symbol to location on the grid to figure out what color goes where. So using all that information, we know that green corresponds to Temple Island. And um, Temple Island on the big map is this area, and its dome was located here. They do make it a little bit harder by not showing you the outlines of the, uh, the islands on here, which I think they did do in the original. I fully agree with not making this a 25 by 25 grid. The original puzzle was pretty tedious and very error prone. So I completely agree with that. I that change. I don't like that they just give you the locations with the sliding puzzle. Like I said, I still think maybe there was something else planned there that they couldn't end up doing. Um red, that would be the uh, cat's eye symbol of Jungle Island. Jungle Island is the biggest island. It is uh, down here, and its dome was located there. Then we have, um, I think this is orange and not yellow. That is Survey Island. Survey Island was the L-shaped Tetris piece down in the bottom left. 
with its dome located here. And um, blue is Prison Island. Prison Island is in the top right corner, of course, the one square. And purple we did not see. It is the one light that was not working. But we do know what symbol it is. It is uh, the vertical line of Boiler Island. And its dome is all the way in the top left here. With um, this the square over here. And that should be all of the marbles in their correct locations. You also don't need to guess a color here because you are only given five marbles instead of six. Um, does that accomplish anything? What if we shut it? Seems like it's locking them in place pretty solidly. Um, doesn't seem to do anything else, though. I like how you can see that each grid slot actually has a hole in the bottom, which is presumably used to uh, let the light shine through from them the, to get the energy out. But remember, we also needed to strike these things. Which I guess is what this whole contraption does. There is also a slider here. And that reminds me a lot of the slider we saw on the fire marble striking contraption in Gen's office. Except there are five sliders with matching colors to the marbles. So... I guess we need to figure out where to put these. This, of course, replaces the uh, slider puzzle on each um, of the rotating domes in the original game. With the added benefit that you only have to do it once. Let's take a look at our notebook. Um, the only numbers, really, that uh, make sense to use for this is this, strike force compensation, which give us two negative and three positive numbers associated with the rotating dome symbols. So this tells us that um, Boiler Island, which would be the color purple, is plus, um, that is 16, I think. However, we can't enter negative numbers on the slider. So we need another piece of information with that. And that is the base force, which we determined uh, to be 9. So I guess the best result is given with 9 for a normal white marble. And then the different uh, frequencies of energy stored with the different colors need adjustments of that value. So our first value would be uh, 9 plus 16, which is actually 25. This code is randomly generated, so I don't have notes for it, so I do hope <laughs> I'm doing it correctly. So we can move that one to uh, the right. We know it's purple because it's Boiler Island. Uh, maybe I should have written this, these down. The next one is uh, Prison Island, which is blue. That's 12. Plus 9 is 21. Uh, 
All right, 21. Then we have uh, 5 plus 9 is 14. That's the green one. And then we have remaining the two negative ones. So 9 minus 3 would be 6. And 9 minus 7 is 2. So 6 and 2 for the orange and uh, red marbles, respectively. Six and two. Unlike the original slider in the original Riven, the first line is zero, not one. Pay attention to that. Um, one thing here is that this actually does give you a different way of learning the colors as well because the sliders only go in one order like you can't move them past each other so there's no way to put this slider at 25 so you know the sliders go in this order so the piece of paper with the numbers gives you the symbols and then if you had noticed that those symbols correspond to the domes and the marble locations is based on the domes. You could figure that out too. Even without having seen the colors on Survey Island. Although if you did not spot that the locations are based on the domes and just figured, well, colors and symbols, I got that from Survey Island, then this won't help you. You have to make that connection first. Um, anyway, I think that's the correct combination. Let's see what happens now. Nothing? Oh, but a button popped up here. That's the explosion we heard. And now with the contraption powered up, it shines a light on the linking book, which fixes the panel, showing us a very bizarre place indeed. with a weird structure. Wait, wasn't there a number on the cover here? Yeah, that's 233. We saw that in his journal. So this is the 233rd age that we've uh, read about. Oh, oh, apparently I can also zoom with scroll wheel. Did not know that. Uh, and that now we can visit. In the explosion we heard before, somebody powered up this contraption so that Gen himself could leave after staring at us creepily in the uh, imager, presumably using a different set of fire marbles. Or they were nice enough to replace the marbles in the tubes after we... Uh, after Gen left, they, somebody must have stayed behind to power the whole thing off again, so... One of Gen's men. Again, kind of feels like Gen wants to be found. Otherwise, why leave the marbles here when he knows we're coming? Okay, well, let's see if he really does want to be found and whether or not that spells bad things for us in the next video.